Who is Randy? Don't bring anyone love into this. Your mom in the fucking sand. You are the guy uh, who we first discovered as the man who put his own balls into his own ass and then pushed them out. And when we first saw it, we were like, like everyone's brain has been like, wait, what am I seeing right now? <laughs> That's the first part of that, it. Yeah. One what of my friends said, one of my friends said, I thought it was a guy shitting into his own ball sack. <laughs> like, cause he, he didn't, he's like, I don't even know what I'm seeing. Um, so first, first of all, welcome and thank you for coming. Thank you so much. Thanks for having me. We're so and excited. There's so many things we can talk God. about, but since the video is what grabbed everyone's attention to begin with, can we talk about the origin of how this video came about? How did you come up with this idea to even try this? Um, I was just sitting around one day in my bathroom and I was just like, I think I was like prepping for a femdom scene. So like what I usually kind of, exactly? femdom mm -hmm. is when they're like, you know, super hot chicks like tie you up and just like beat the shit out of you and slap your balls and nice. fuck you with strap on stuff like so, that. So, but you but, primarily do gay porn, right? You're, yeah. Okay. Pri primarily. Right. I've, I've, done, uh, I've done some straight, I've done uh, femdom sure. uh, and gay. Okay. Yeah, you're yeah. a versatile performer. Versatile performer, yeah. yeah. Okay, so, so you're, you're sitting in the tub. <laughs> now walk us By, through the day. First of all, you got okay, a nice, okay. let's, let's start with I'm the so fact <laughs> that you got a nice rig on you, okay? There's a big old piece. Yes. And I don't <laughs> even think the idea, like, because a lot of us were talking about like, oh, this is impossible for people who don't have a big sack, basically, right? You got to have the length. Yeah, yeah, you got to have really stretchy balls. Yeah. yeah. And you so, were blessed. Hold on. I'm sorry to interrupt. I'm just so excited. Though. Go ahead. <laughs> you were blessed with hangy balls or did you stretch them out? I was, I was, well, both, both, yeah. I was, I would say blessed first and then I just kind of like perfected the, so the you, art of the hang. You, okay. do, how do you, do you tug on them to, for that? How do you get your balls to? Uh, I mean, well, I think over the, like my experience in porn, like they've been tugged a lot. So I think that's kind of oh, wow. yeah. helped it. Do you have, okay, because here's one of the, I still want to get to like this specific moment, but are your balls a little desensitized? Like I like a little, huh? Mm -hmm. Like a, hmm, huh? or even a, huh? But like if, you know, if something's a little too, too much force, I am like, ha, ah, fuck. But I feel like you, like f from seeing the, the video, I'm like, oh, th do you not have that sensitive? Like it doesn't hurt you as badly? No, no, they're not as sensitive. I feel like it's, uh, I feel like your balls are kind of like, like hot sauce. You kind of build up a tolerance. Wow. And, uh, yeah, like I grew up doing crazy, stupid shit with my brothers all childhood, getting kicked in the nuts so many wow. times, weasel oh. taps and shit, you know, so. This um, is kind of a good message for Sean Evans, the host what? of Hot Ones. Maybe <laughs> there's some way to combine hot sauce and your balls. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, okay, so wait, wait let's go to the day. But weasel taps, you mean a nut tap. Yeah, nut, nut tap. tap yeah. Yeah. Or like weasel tap is the dick tap, dick tip. You get aim for the tip. Yeah, you aim know? for the tip. Yeah, oh. and then um, generally it's like kind of like you can't really, you know, you hit, hit one or the other really. Yeah, yeah. you kind of miss a lot when you're going for dick tips. <laughs> for sure. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so wait, you're prepping for your femdom scene. And does that mean you're like stretching out? Like, are you getting your? Yeah, yeah. I kind of like edge myself a little bit, uh -huh. and I like to like. I'm edging. I like to pull on my balls anyway, so sure. I'm like naturally doing that. Uh -huh. So, um, yeah. So I was just doing that, and I was pulling them back, and just I don't even I don't even know. I was just like, wow, they're really stretchy. So I tried to like you know, you know, tuck them back, see how far they would go. Because I think I was like trying to hold them or something with my ass cheeks, you know, just to. I don't know. To tuck and then just does, to do it, it. does it hit you? Oh, they're touching my asshole right now. Yeah, exactly. I was like, whoa, that nut is like perfectly lined up with my asshole. Mm. <laughs> and so I was like, wow, what if I applied a little bit of pressure? Um, the funny thing is it always has to be the right testicle first and then the left after. I why don't know is why. That? why is I think that? It, I think it's because my right just doesn't hang as low as the left. It's just yeah, a it little bit. It's a longer. Yeah, the left is longer. And that's go. always one that got fucking hit when I was younger, you know. Uh, the, interesting, yeah. and that's the one that built the tolerance to take the strain of being in your rectum. Now, yeah. there's a lot of things I've noticed is that, A, your rectum is spotless. <laughs> what do you do? What's your regimen? Are you waxing? Are you shaving that thing? Just shaving, yeah. Really? Yeah, she I've, won't, I've actually never waxed. I, she won't eat my scrum. She won't get down I there won't and eat use his her mouth hole. at all. Yeah. It's, it's kind of disappointing. So hold on. So your asshole's clean. It looks beautiful. It Actually, looks yeah. spotless. There was Thank a lot you. of comments about a lot like, of that. I mean, and especially like a lot of women were like, "Uh, this guy's asshole is is good enough to eat out of." Like they wanted to put Nobody, food in there. No, <laughs> yeah, no. They were really like, you got a lot of compliments on your hygiene and the way you know it's kept. Yeah. 
so then you're you're kind of you're you're kind of poking your nut one nut in and yeah. you're like oh this doesn't hurt is your asshole is it looser because you've done a lot of butt play like is do you think your rectum's looser than most your anus i mean um, I think it's it's not that it's looser. It's just easier to control. You know how, when you stimulate it a little bit, it like it like relaxes. It loosens yeah. up a little bit, so it's more trained to elasticity be able to, do to that. it too. Yeah, I wouldn't yeah. say it's looser, but yeah. Well, and it's a muscle used to it. It's a muscle. It's a muscle. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. So, so wait a minute. So this is pre scene, and you get that. Um, you're, you you discover that like oh my god, the length and this could go in. Do you actually insert it then? Do you do it? Your your pre scene. Do you actually put no, your balls in or no? No, no. Um, it's actually the only times I've really done it on camera, like in scenes, was just been really spur of the moment. Okay. Where I'm just like, look what I can do, you know, offset, and they're like, no way, let's throw that in there, you know. So the day that oh, you, wow. the day you shoot this this femdom scene is when you discover the idea of it happening, exactly. and then do you go, I need to do this, I need to record this, and like, do you call a friend and go, we should shoot this, or like, how do, how does it like then, how does it evolve from the discovery? of it can reach my butthole mm -hmm. to like, I should shoot it and make this video. Um, you know, I, you know, surprisingly enough, I didn't really get too excited about it. Um, <laughs> oh, wow. I was just, I don't know. Well, I just kind of thought everybody else, it's like, people have done that before. But no. then when I found out, it's like, nobody's really done that before. I'm like, well, shit. Um, then I was kind of like, okay, well, I should capitalize on this. Yeah. So I would like, um, you know, shove them in my ass, then get screwed, like fucked with a strap on. <gasps> with them in there like i can get fucked with them in hold there. on hold on a whole hold nother on. Oh, oh i've got tricks hold on hold on hold on, hold on. <laughs> you figured out that you could put your balls in your asshole <clears throat> and then get fucked with them inside your asshole yes i did wait a minute and, and that doesn't that doesn't hurt your balls to be pulled so hard and and it, it just that's exactly what it is the sensation of just pulling like people would think that it's like something pummeling into them and it's like they kind of just like sit under like under but you need bed. somebody who's got at it's least just, some like situational <clears throat> awareness right like hey man yeah you know well, my I balls mean, are in my ass right now if you don't mind <laughs> right yeah. well i mean Take most <laughs> most most porn like you know, yeah. porn performers are they, pretty, they they're pretty cool yeah. that's our job really that's by the way you ever have a um mm. is is there a, I mean, I always think it's fascinating to be in sex work and in, in adult performance. Like, do you have scenes or you've had the experience where you're like, dude, this guy's a fucking dick. Like, are people, yeah? And like, yeah. right. And then does that kill the scene? Are you like, I don't even feel like doing this. Well, it, it's actually like, yeah, you get like some really queenie, queenie people that are very needy. Oh, very needy. Um, and it's just like where it becomes like, that's the, fascinating. the work itself becomes like something that's recreational instead of professional. Mm. And like uh, most of us treat it like a business where right. there's some that are there just to hook up and you're just like, whoa, like. Is that the queenie stuff? Like what's, uh, the, what's the, like a. Well, they kind of, the queenie stuff is just like, um, it, it's more like needy being really needy. I know a lot of actors are like this with, uh, you know, like needing certain things. They're very particular. They, you know. Um, right. And there's just a few models. I mean, surprisingly, there's not that many that mm -hmm. are like that, but there are some. Just like, like, oh, the temperature, the lighting, the thing. And right. The and they're water. always blaming someone else if they're having problems. Right. They're like, oh, yeah. this is your fault. Or, oh, it's too hot in here. Or, Unprofessional. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For sure. So that's. So I have a question. I, I noticed, okay, what I love about the video, there's timing. There's theatrics. But firstly, did you use lube to put your balls in your butthole or did you do this dry? No, definitely use lube, yeah. Yeah, yeah. okay. It and just makes it easier and it doesn't... Here's the thing that I don't even know that you know. Do you know when that video... Like, I didn't realize it at the time when the video actually came out. I No. Oh, it's going to absolutely blow your mind. When? What happens on New Year's? Uh, celebration. And what do they do? Like in New in York? In New York City, the ball drops. That was, you did it to commemorate the ball dropping. It was my tribute. It was a New it Year's. It was my New Year's I ball mean, drop. New Year's ball drop. Brilliant. Yeah. I couldn't love the video more and I just did. Yeah. <laughs> it's kind of fucking it's fantastic. brilliant. Man. It was opportune That's, timing, so, you know, obviously yeah. it went viral. Hey, don't be shy about don't it. Don't be shy. <laughs> fucking brilliant. That was perfect. Thanks. So then, now hold on. And what I love about this is there's a sense of urgency and momentum in the video. Tom, would you mind, could we play it just so that we could get reference here? Look at that. So what I loved is you're running into frame. Like I have an urgent Dude. thing to say. <laughs> like why the run in? What was the choice to do the run in versus just start like this? Um, 
the shock value. You want to yeah. pull people's attention initially. Any video, like any little like video that I want to do, I want to pull people's attention so they stay there, mm -hmm. and then I shock the fuck out of them. Smart. Yep. And it's smart too <laughs> that it starts. It. Like it could have started with you, uh, like already in this position. That's what I'm. Right. Yeah. And then people are like, hold on, like, and you also would lose. Like you get you more lose, people yeah. seeing it by mm -hmm. giving them the blank slate. Right. And then and now, by the way, people are so in tune to the to like being shocked now that I would show people the way this video starts, which is on, you know, which is on the, uh, uh, this frame. I can, no, not this frame. This frame? I, yes. would, I would show this to people and they go, no, 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 I don't know what this is. Because like people are so attuned now to like, you know, that there's something coming. So I would show them this and they're like, no, I don't know what you're gonna show me, but no. <laughs> Hello and thank you for watching that highlight uh, if you want to see more of those, we have them. They're provided for you. So enjoy. Just do a deep dive like you're trying to study us. Click on these and subscribe. Hit the subscribe button and then they'll just be delivered to you. You can watch them when they come out. Please do it.